All right, we have my outline sketch of Brilliant here. And now the next step is to detail it. Now you can see um, below the sketch here, uh, my um, sketch layer, I have um, detailed lines. There, there's much more detail than what I've got on the outline layer. So that'll serve as a guide for adding the detail lines. Now I had actually made this earlier when I attempted a video and forgot I left that there. So um, we've got our two layers, sketch and outline. And now I'm going to create a new layer called detail. And when I create the detail lines, I don't make um, complete bubbles like I do with the outline layer. So let's just start here, the calf mu muscle. And then uh, I've got a nice detail line. Now what you might run into is you might have the fill already set to some color. So you might get a fill or something. Um, even though the, it's not completed, it'll still try to fill in the shape. So on the fill, make sure that that's um, no fill. And then the stroke style, I've set that to 1.5. Um, the outline is 3. Um, I set this to 1.5. Usually I'll pick a value that's somewhere between a third to a half of the width of the outline. Um, and then just go about the same procedure. Um, select the nodes and then uh, make symmetric to smooth it out. And I'll just go through and draw the various um, detail lines. Now there's really not a whole lot to uh, to talk about here. I mean, you can you can pretty much see what I'm doing. And this, I mean, it can be pretty tedious, especially if you have a lot. I have set on my laptop uh, a keystroke that encompasses the the. Uh, um, select all and make symmetric, which saves me some time. Um, it's a feature of Ubuntu, uh, and I don't have, uh, I'm not showing, showing you here, I'm showing it to you here on Windows. I'm not using Ubuntu, so I don't know of an equivalent um, shortcut for setting up a, a key, a key stroke that then encompasses multiple key strokes. And then these are the seams of the gene. They don't uh, jeans, the uh, the shorts, they don't match my the lay the outline underneath it exactly, but that's fine since I know what I'm looking for. I do wish that the uh, nodes would kind of default to a symmetric style. What you can do is you can click and then you can click and drag, and that will smooth it out. So I mean that that's pretty much a workaround there, and that that'll do that. So maybe I just need to try to implement that a little more with what I'm doing. It's probably a better um, better trick than uh, making symmetric. It does seem to be doing exactly what I want it to do. So There's actually supposed to be a pattern on the belt buckle. It's the, the shape of Texas. I didn't draw that. Um, I may add that still here a little later. Same thing applies. You can delete lines to simplify the geometry if uh, you want to try to smooth it out some. I'm always hesitant to hit undo after I accidentally drag a line because a previous version of, of Inkscape had a, uh, an issue where if you hit undo after dragging a line, it would crash the program, which is quite annoying. as I'm sure you can imagine. All right, now for the ears and the nipples, I usually do draw complete shapes in the detail layer. 
Um, I don't do that for a lot of things, but those are a couple things that I do. So I will draw the interior of the ear, and I, I didn't actually do a very good job on my sketch of, of representing that, but I know where it'll be. In the future, I'll try to make a better point at representing it. Okay, that looks a little too large, actually, so I'm going to scale that back. And, I mean, uh, horse ears do have a little bit of a curve at the tip, typically, but I would need to, I had that too exaggerated, I think. in my stroke style, because I scaled it went down, so I'll put this back at 1.5. Now, I won't make a complete shape on this ear here, since it's partially obscured. Um, and then the layer below it, I mean, the, it's a detail layer. So I just made the detail layer invisible, now it's visible again. That shape, I can't make it below his forelock here, because it is... Um, on the wrong layer, so I'm not going to, I mean, I could if I wanted to bump it down a layer, but I want to try to keep things consistent. I want everything on one layer to have one line thickness and everything on the other to have another. So that's kind of what I'm working with. Now I can actually use the oval here for the nipples if I wanted to. Seems to be the uh, simplest approach. Now that one's going to be kind of the wrong orientation. I'll have to rotate it. And that looks fine, I think. Make sure I put that on the right layer. Yep. All right. All right, and for the sake of time, I will probably just leave it at this, and I will go through and then on another video um, complete the rest of the, the lines um, in time lapse. So um, on the next part, then I should have everything detailed and um, should have all my outlines, and so I'll show you how I proceed from there.